In this video, I will demonstrate how to perform text mining using Analytics Server. This is the text document we're going to use. In general, a collection of text documents to be analyzed is called corpus. In this example, our corpus consists of 10 documents. Each document contains comments made by an airline customer. The airline company would like to analyze these comments to find out how they are doing and what areas they can improve. Under data mining, select text. In the data source tab, we can see that data worksheet is displayed. The first row contains headers is selected. Now we would like to select the comment field to be the text variables. Click next. In the pre-processing tab, we would like to analyze all terms. This is regarding tokenization. Tokenization is the process of dividing text into separate terms, referred to as tokens. First, the symbol and punctuations are removed from the document and all letters will be converted to lowercase. And then each word will be separate as a token. Next, we would like to select the stop word removal. A stop word is a commonly used word such as the, a, n, is. We would like to filter these words out because they don't provide much meaning. We would like to set the maximum vocabulary size to 1000. We would like to perform stemming and normalize case. Stemming is a process converting a word to a stem or root word, such as it would drop the ing or ed at the end and place only the root word in the list of words to be tracked. In addition to stemming, Frequency can be used to eliminate words from consideration as tokens. For example, if a term occurs frequently in every document in the corpus, then it's probably not very useful and can be eliminated from consideration. Similarly, a low frequency word probably may not be very useful as tokens either. So we would like to filter them out. This setting allows us to set these frequencies. Remove terms occurring in less than, we'll say, 20% of the document. And then remove terms occurring in more than 90% of the documents. And the maximum term length is 20. So another technique to reduce the consideration set for tokens is to consolidate a set of words that are synonyms. We don't need to set it up, but it will automatically do it, such as quarters, cordial, and polite may just best represent as a single token polite. Next, we would like to select presence, absence. Presence or absence of a particular word in a particular document has a Boolean value, as in one means the word present in a document and zero means the word does not present in a document. Creating the list of terms to use in the presence, absence matrix can be complicated because too many terms may lead to meaningless results and too few terms may miss important relationships. So often we will consider term frequencies and problem context and use them as a guide. So latent semantic indexing or LSI attempts to first group terms with similar meanings into concepts and then create a concept document matrix rather than a term document matrix. LSI is very helpful to simplify very complex documents. However, in here, because we have very simple documents, we just can rely on the terms rather than creating concepts. So we check this off. Next, we would like to, in the output, display term document, term frequency table, and we want to see the 10 most frequency terms. We want to show the document summary. Click finish. This will result three worksheets, TM output, TM TDM, and TM vocabulary. TM stands for text mining. In the TM output, it shows the basic information on the document. And then the term count info table shows that 10 documents have a total of 84 terms 
and then they're reduced down to 19 for consideration after tokening, stemming, removing stop words, etc. And then these are reduced down to 19 for consideration, which is 22.6% of the original total. And out of this 19 under consideration, seven were used to construct the term document matrix. The TN TDM worksheet contains the presence, absence, term, document matrix. The tokenization of terms, you notice that delayed becomes delay, horrible becomes horrible, BL without the E, and similarly with the recline without the E and service without the E. So this is the result of tokenization of terms because there will be words such as declining or reclined and they all have the same root word of recline, R-E-C-L-I-N. This matrix can be used for further analysis such as we can use the presence absence term document matrix to conduct hierarchical clustering. Last one, the TM vocabulary just shows again the seven terms and their frequency that occurred and in the documents that they are find. Now let's perform a hierarchical clustering using this matrix as input. So we copy this information, create a new document, paste in here. Under data mining, under cluster, we select hierarchical clustering and we're going to select all seven terms and then we're gonna click next use the matching coefficient and group average link linkage that i explained this settings in the hierarchical clustering video and click next we like to draw dendrogram and uh, we're gonna create three clusters and this is based upon the problem domain, I kind of see the three seams kind of related to the service, the C, and delay of the flight. Let's see if I'm correct. Finish it. And we can see that each of the comments is assigned to a cluster out of the three clusters. So now if I copy the terms and then paste in here, and I'll create a pivot table. Let's select the clusters and then the seven terms. And um, we want to count the record ID also. And we can see that three clusters, the first cluster is more about the service because it mentioned root and service and horrible. This is all about service. And the second cluster is about the seat. It's reclining and the word seat. The third cluster seems to be more concerning of the delay of the flight because we see the word delay and flight. So we can use the presence, absence, term document matrix as the input to conduct hierarchical clustering and to help us see the topics. They're about service, seat, and delay.